Welcome to City Vibes Metro. I'm your host, Christina Andrianopoulos, and I am pleased to present the newest lifestyle program in Worcester County on Charter TV3. This week's episode in the health and fitness segment, we will be chatting with our renowned clinical psychologist, Dr. Leo Polizzati, who will be discussing a timely topic, resolutions in procrastination. And it gives me great pleasure to announce that Commerce Bank, the bank you should know, is our program sponsor. Don't go away, and we'll be right back. A bank is just a bank. It's the people that work there that make the difference. At Commerce Bank, we've got some of the best in the business of what they do, but more importantly, how they do it. Whether it's personal or commercial banking or loans, or maybe just a question you need answered, we're always here to help and do it with a smile. Commerce Bank. Our people make the difference. You don't have to go to Boston to see great theater. This theater is energizing the city in so many ways. It was like Broadway came to Worcester. Everything is beautiful inside, the chandelier, everything. I'm in Worcester, yes. I've never been in Worcester. Yes. Felt like I came right off the streets of New York City. We are so much fun. Hanover Theater. Broadway music and more. Welcome back. And now I have the great pleasure to introduce Dr. Leo Polizzati. Dr. Leo Polizzati is with Direct Decision Institute. Leo, how are you? Good, how are you? Good, thank you. Now, you're a clinical psychologist, and today, first tell us a little bit about your practice. Well, it's a general practice of uh, psychology. We, I work with all kinds of uh, problems and uh, people have in their lives. Uh, but the foundational idea behind the Institute is that we're attempting to help people make a decision to change their life for the better. That's great. Instead of just sitting around and sort of procrastinating, but to actually take proactive measures and change. Absolutely. As a matter of fact, sometimes I look at procrastination as, as an actual decision where people decide to pro procrastinate. So the issue would be, why would someone decide to put something off? Interesting. Yeah. I would imagine that you can have two hours worth of a topic like that. But one of the things that I wanted to discuss, which I believe is very timely, mm -hmm. is resolutions and procrastination. And you were sharing with me that they seem to go hand in hand. Why don't we discuss that? Well, everyone makes, uh, or many people make New Year's resolutions around the holiday season. They eat too much, drink too much, smoke too much, and so forth. And uh, come New Year's Eve, they decide they're going to make all these changes or uh, resolutions. Uh, the research shows by probably mid-February about 80% of the people have now fallen back and they're back to eating too much, drinking too much, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. You're kidding. It only yeah. takes through February for Absolutely. us to sort of fall off our resolution wagon? Most of us. That's Most amazing. I've done it myself many times. Oh, well, in that case, so why make resolutions? Tell us, you know, our listeners, I mean, our viewers like to know, learn things. So tell us, should we make resolutions or, you know, why should we make resolutions? Well, it's a good idea, but there are a number of things that should be done to try to ensure that uh, you'll be successful. Um, I mean, attempting to exercise more, eat better and so forth it can't be bad and they have a lot of implications for someone's life and their even career and finances and so forth. So, so making a resolution, you would say for most people is a good thing. I know I, know I like to make resolutions and mm -hmm. I believe you know, that you, when you visualize something, it, there's a more of a success factor for that's, that that's happening. One, one technique that's very helpful actually. I mean it's interesting that people wait till New Year's Eve. Why not make a re resolution on August 12th? That's a great point. <laughs> that's, why do we wait till New Year's Eve? Well it's the uh, new year and a new start and so forth. Uh, although people do make resolutions uh, at different times based upon, let's say, a death in their family. Mm, then like they decide challenge. they're going to live differently and, and go have their uh, physical exams that they should have and so forth. Well, with this year coming to an end, 2008, many of us faced many um, challenging milestones. So mm. I, I would think that many of us would want to make some changes in, in our lives. Oh, and absolutely. The, uh, uh, 
Center for Disease Control in Atlanta uh, did a study a few years ago where uh, at the turn of the century, which was before my time, but uh, one of the major uh, killers was uh, flu and so forth. What's happening is that because of uh, lifestyle changes, uh, they claim that by 2012, uh, seven of the top ten killers will be avoidable by behavioral change. Really? Exercise, diet, etc. That's fantastic. So not only do we keep our bodies living longer, but we can live longer, both cognitively as well, by Absolutely. making certain changes. All right, so take take me for now, and, mm -hmm. and you did share with me that procrastination is really not good for your health. I've read one article that said procrastination could be helpful. A lot of small things around the house, let's say, would get done that normally wouldn't get done because they put off stuff that really needs to be done. Right. Uh, so in a way, that, that can be positive. But in the long run, it's very damaging for health reasons, financial reasons, careers, uh, uh, it's, it's been well documented how much people lose out on as a result of procrastinating. Yeah. I'm an example, by the way. I've you are, had some you are so you're, you're a perfect example. You're sort of your own case study. If my wife's watching this, she'll tell you that. <laughs> she uh, is. Uh, All right, so, so just now, let's take resolutions. Okay. Now, take me. Mm -hmm. Now, I want to make a resolution. Yeah. I'm a resolution-oriented person. Mm -hmm. And let's take somebody else who's not as resolution-oriented. What should they start? I mean, most people go, I'm going to cut down my drinking, I'm going to eat less, I'm mm. going to exercise, I'm going to be nice to my spouse or significant other. How, give us some suggestions on how to do that so we're more successful and we last beyond February. Well, the number one thing is to um, have what's called proximal goals, meaning that you're moving towards something. So in other words, instead of I will stop smoking, it's better to say I will live better, I will live healthier by stopping smoking. Oh, fantastic. Uh, yeah, so if you, because the stop idea gives a lot of people, uh, people Thanks. don't like to hear, stop Check. this and yeah. stop the ice cream sundaes and yeah. so forth. So that's, that's a, an, uh, an important one. Uh, another one that's important is to use very specific changes as opposed to vague ones. So right. for example, oh, I'm going to get healthy this year and work out. Well, that's not a bad idea. It's a lot better to say to something like, to yourself like, tomorrow morning at 7.30 I will go to the gym. So be more specific. Absolutely. So one, one of the things that my girlfriends and I talk about, those who are single, are like when we put sort of a profile out there of the type of man we meet, to be very specific. Don't just say a man who's tall, but be very specific. A man who likes women, who... Right, exactly, <laughs> why not? And, and, you know, uh, who has exactly. a career and sort exactly. of like that. I know we, we went off. We'll, yeah. we'll go into that Sorry. topic yeah. another time. But tell me, now you have a website. Mm -hmm. it, and tell us about your website. I know it's popping up as, as we're speaking. So why don't you give us your website? Well, it's, it's uh, drdecision.com. Uh, that's drdecision.com. And uh, it's not a, a fancy website with you know, right. photographs, what have you. It's a basic website I had put up a few years ago, but uh, uh, I'm going to be working on that more because I have some other things I've been putting into practice. And Dr. Decision is a nickname that was given to me by a friend of mine in Worcester because uh, direct decision therapy is based upon the idea of making a decision to change. So one day he said, you know, it's going to call you Dr. Decision. So I used that for a web okay. address. Leave, leave our viewers mm -hmm. with um, another little pearl of wisdom right now. I want them to, to leave here today saying, okay, I'm going to follow Dr. Leo Palazzotti's suggestion. Okay. Uh, baby steps, like in the movie with uh, Dreyfus. Yep. Uh, make small steps towards that goal. Focus on the process as opposed to the outcome. Again, be very specific. And uh, there's a word I, I, I read in a book the other day called satisfice. It's a combination of satisfying, uh, satisfy or satisfactory and sufficient. So in other words, let's say you're, you accomplish your goal 80%, that is satisficed in the sense that that's good enough. It's, it's okay. It's a heck of a lot better than... You were before. Than, exactly. Yeah. Great. Absolutely. So here on, um, on City Vibes Metro, we mm -hmm. have learned another word, satisfice, mm -hmm. from Dr. Leo Palazzotti. And we're, we've had a great pleasure to have you here. Again, I'm going to have you here more frequently and maybe right after New Year's, around February, to sort of remind us all about sticking to our resolutions and not procrastinating. Absolutely. Thank you. Thanks for being here. Oh, you're welcome.